welcome back to my channel. So today's hairstyle is all about passion twist. And these passion twists, I got the hair from Toyo Tress. So in their package, you get um, rubber bands, crochet hook. And these are the packs of hair. I believe if each pack comes with um, seven bundles of hair. And these, um, these are their 22 inch passion twist hair as I'm showing you right here so this is how it looks out of the pack so now I'm gonna show you how I prep the hair for this style so I take one strand and just like how the original creator of passion twist does it that's the same way I'm gonna do this so you I like the messy look of passion twist I don't like it when they're too perfect I don't know I prefer it to be messy so I separate it from each end, but not all the way as I showed you. I'm going to show you here again. So you separate one end, but not all the way. So separate it and then you turn it to the other end and you do the same thing like I'm doing over here. So for each twist, I use two strands of passion twist hair. And this hair is very, very soft, guys. I really love this hair. So to start off the style, I section off my hair into two, the back and then the front, like I do in all my videos. It makes it easier for me to do it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do this passion twist. The hair is very, very soft. I really, really love the hair. It's very easy to work with and in this I use shine and jam and just my comb so I went ahead and did the back of camera so to start off I section I part my hair into two as you can see and then I section off the side I'm gonna do oh my god look at all that dandruff guys I don't know where this dandruff is coming from I mean I used to have dandruff that was back in the day but now it's worse no matter how I wash my hair I still have it if you have any recommendations of how I can get rid of it please put it down below in the comments so I section it off and I split that section into two I don't want them too small because passion twists can tend to be a bit heavy if you do them too small that's what I've noticed from me doing them previously and I, I cannot handle heavy hair, so I'm trying to do them a little bit bigger. So I section it off like I'm showing you here, and then I get the shine and jam. I would say to be very heavy on the shine and jam because it's very hard to hide, um, especially if you have a, a hair texture like mine, like 4C hair. It's very hard to hide it in passion twist because passion twist hair tend to be a little bit silky. So it's pretty hard to hide it in your hair. So the way I do the twist is I take one strand and then the other strand and then I cross it. But I don't cross it all the way in the middle. You see how some of the ends are longer than the others? Because I really love it long. But the hair is already long, which is... 22 inches long but i wanted it extra long so doing it that way will ensure you to have it way longer so i start off with a braid using my natural hair as the third strand of hair for the braid so i braid it down a little bit because to me i feel like if you don't start off with a braid it tends to come out unless maybe you do the rubber band method so when i do the braid I braid down at least like four times and then I split my natural hair in two and add it onto the passion twist hair and just twist it all the way down like you see me doing over here. So I'm just gonna keep twisting and twisting and twisting. Like I said, I, I made these very, very long because the hair is already long which is 22 inches and then I, cr um, 
I started off in a way to get even longer by not crossing it all the way in the middle, but leaving, making um, some of the ends longer than the others, like you saw me do. But I'm going to show you again just so you can get a clarification of what I'm trying to say here. So just keep twisting it. First, I used to put the hair in my mouth. <laughs> I know because it was too when I'm doing long hair. But then I found out like as I twist to a certain length and you just clip it to your hair, it helps you to twist all the way. I don't even know why I did not think of this. So it makes it easier than and more hygienic than to put it, the hair in your mouth as you twist. So here, it's pretty long, very, very long. It, it went all the way, uh, it went past my butt, like it was really long. So here I'm going to show you how to do it again. So I add my shine and jam. I'm very generous with the shine and jam because it helps to steal, um, to seal in my natural hair with the passion twist hair. Because as you can see, these are two different textures. So the shine and jam helps it a little bit better to hide my natural hair in the twist so it doesn't like pop out. So I start off with a braid as I'm doing here with my hair as a third strand. You can use rubber bands. A lot of people use um, rubber the rubber band method, but I just can't with rubber bands. It's It hurts my head no matter how loose I do it. And to have it all over my head and twist, I, can, I don't think I could have survived. So I prefer this method. And it still stays. It doesn't come out or anything by using this method. So as you can see, I splitted my natural hair in two. And added, sorry, the hair was getting caught in my watch. And just twist it all the way like I've been doing. twisting so I'm gonna do a few more for you guys to see the way I do it so I'm just gonna leave you guys to watch it and then I'll come back So for here, a trick that I use is I always, when I section off my hair in two, like the front section and the back section, for the front section, to, for me to get a fuller look in the front, like I did in the previous, the first row, I did two braids. So for this one, I'm going to do three twists. And then I'm going to continue till I get to the middle. Do three, 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 all the way to the middle to give it to make you fuller instead of doing two parts like I did the first part that I did I'm here I'm gonna do th do three instead so just again with a shining jam so I'm just gonna let you guys watch it's the same process that I've been doing put your shining jam cross the hair and start off with a braid like I did So here I'm going to show you again, crossing the hair. See how I didn't cross all the way in the middle? I have short, some of them are short and then some of them are long to give it a long look. I don't cross them evenly, that's what I'm trying to say. So start off with a braid like I've been doing with my natural hair as the third strand. Braid. I think I, I believe I break like four or five times. Braid it and then I split my natural hair in half and add each half onto the passion twist hair and just two strand twist it. 
I find it that it's better to um, go with the messy look if you have 4C hair because it kind of blends in a little bit better as to if you just go straight ahead and do the twist with how the hair comes in this natural form instead of like separating it a little bit to make it a little bit messy. I really love this twist. It's very, very fluffy. The hair is amazing. I'm gonna leave the details for this hair down below on where you can purchase it from Toyo Tress. This passion to his hair, it feels good. It's not rough. That's what makes me love their hair because it's very, very soft and it's so easy to work with. It doesn't tangle. You know, some of these hairs for these passion twists, it tangles so much. It just is so frustrating when you use it. But with um, Toyo Tress, it's very, very soft. It doesn't tangle when you're twisting or when you, even when I start to braid it off. It's very, very easy to work with. So I'm going to leave the links down below for the Amazon shop where you can purchase this hair. I got this in the color. They sent me in the color um, 1B. They have other colors too if you want to try. So here's the twist all done. So I add my mousse because I had a little bit flyaways from my natural hair poking out. So the mousse helps it lay it down a little bit. So I add my mousse and I ran my hands through it as I'm doing here. scalp I'm gonna add some of my oil from I think Alva Curl. it's very very good for my scalp because this dandruff I'm currently battling with oh sorry got it in my face <laughs> so it's it's helping so I'm just gonna put it in my scalp to soothe it a little bit and here is the final look guys I hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for tuning in as always thank you so much for your support if you haven't hit the subscribe button what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button to support and if you like these type of videos don't forget to hit the like button down below and once again this hair is by Toyo Tress I'm gonna put all the links down below this is their passion twist hair in the color 1B and the length is 22 inches it's very beautiful it's luscious the curls are very very soft it's not hard it's not tangly and it see it comes all the way to my butt very very long hair once again thank you guys so much i'll catch you in my next video bye